Maybe some of you finished school a long time ago, but you surely remember what kinetic energy is. However, for those who don't remember or didn't have a good grade in physics, here's the definition to remind us. In physics, the kinetic energy of an object is the energy that it possesses due to its motion. It's defined as the work needed to accelerate a body of a given mass from rest to its stated velocity. Precisely this kinetic energy was used for a kinetic bombardment or a kinetic orbital strike. What is that? Nothing makes sense to you right now, does it? Don't worry, we will clarify everything right away. According to the definition, a kinetic bombardment or a kinetic orbital strike is the hypothetical act of attacking a planetary surface with an inert kinetic projectile from orbit, orbital bombardment, where the destructive power comes from the kinetic energy of the projectile impacting at very high speed. The kinetic bombardment has the advantage of being able to deliver projectiles from a very high angle at a very high speed, making them extremely difficult to defend against. In addition, projectiles would not require explosive warheads, and in the simplest designs would consist entirely of solid metal rods, giving rise to the common nickname, Rods from God. This unusual topic deserves more details, but before the video continues, please subscribe to our channel. It'll only take a few seconds of your time, but it would mean a lot to us. So how does this even work? This technology includes a pair of satellites orbiting several hundred miles above the Earth, and they would serve as a weapon system. One functions as the targeting and communications platform, while the other carries numerous tungsten rods up to 20 feet in length and a foot in diameter that it can drop on targets with less than 15 minutes notice. When instructed from the ground, the targeting satellite commands its partner to drop one or more of its darts. The guided rods enter the atmosphere protected by a thermal coating traveling at 36,000 feet per second, comparable to the speed of a meteor. The result is complete devastation of the target, even if it's buried deep underground. Pretty clever and impressive plan, right? But is everything that perfect? While Rods of Gods do have a couple of advantages over regular missiles, dropping them from space would give any prospective target little to no warning before they struck, and the sheer density of the rod would give it an awful lot of penetrating power, ideal for destroying hardened targets. But they have to be weighed up against the massive disadvantages inherent from the concept, first and foremost of which is that to drop an eight-ton rod onto somebody's head, you first have to lift it into orbit. With typical launch costs currently standing at around $5,000 per kilo at the cheap end, putting just one of these rods into orbit would cost a whopping $40 million. Putting a whole array of them up there would be ruinously expensive. There would be similar costs involved in developing a kinetic bombardment array that would massively inflate the cost and offer something that has less destructive capacity than a World War II era Lancaster bomber and whose job can easily be performed by much cheaper conventional missiles and bombs. Little wonder, then, that the Rods of God concept has never made it out of the pages of science fiction. Finally, it's said that the Rods can hit any target on the Earth minutes after the kill button is pressed. Once again, this doesn't seem properly thought out. The Rods can only hit targets on or near their orbital track. For weeks at a time, some parts of the world would be invulnerable as their potential attackers would never come within hundreds of kilometers from their positions. The only way around this limitation is to have hundreds of rods waiting ready in multiple orbits, requiring a ludicrous number of launches. Even if the target is directly under the rod's orbital track, the attack may not be instantaneous, as those who order the attack wait perhaps 90 minutes for the rods to move around the Earth into position. Even the Joint Chiefs of Staff cannot overrule Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, the idea is really interesting and unique, but you must admit that it still needs a lot of time to be realized. Although, maybe it shouldn't be realized. Imagine how terrifying it is that someone can attack you in your city and wipe you off the face of the Earth without you being able to be warned about it. It's like scary in horror movies. And just remember, this isn't a movie, but real life. It's best without any conflict, especially not war, so let this idea remain just an idea. What do you say? Do you agree? We're very interested in what you have to say on this topic, and that's why there's a section for your comments, so feel free to write them in there and we'll be very happy to read them. Apart from comments, we'd also like you to click like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to press the notification button for more topics like this one. Thanks for your attention, and have a great day.